Number 10. Messerschmitt BF-109E The mighty Messerschmitt BF-109E was a fighter plane from World War II on the German side, produced between the 1930s and 1945. This plane was the backbone of the Luftwaffe, Germany's aerial fighting force. It was used extensively during the first years of the war as a bomber escort, a ground attack aircraft, and a reconnaissance aircraft. To date, this is the most produced fighter aircraft in human history, with at least 33,984 of them being produced. Some of them were even made inside of Nazi concentration camps. Considering how many of these aircraft were in service during the war, it's no surprise that they've been found destroyed all over the place. This particular airplane was found ruined at the edge of a snowy lake, seemingly abandoned for years. Nobody's exactly sure how it got there, but it probably crashed sometime during a mission and was never recovered. Number 9. The Valley of Death Archaeologists working in northeast Poland recently discovered what has been labeled as a Valley of Death. Archaeologists excavated the remains of Polish people who had been imprisoned underground by the Gestapo secret police in the year 1945. It's rumored that Nazi hitmen murdered at least 2,000 people here during World War II. The area was notorious for mass executions and secret burials. Between October of 1939 and January of 1940, the Germans murdered no less than 500 people. These people were normally targeted by SS troops who were charged with killing doctors, priests, political activists, and other people viewed as being a little too smart for the Nazi party. Their bodies were disposed of in trenches that had already been dug out by Polish citizens in anticipation of the coming war. According to the lead archaeologist at the dig site, Dr. David Kobialka, inmates from the nearby prison were driven out, brought to the Valley of Death, then murdered. They had their bodies burned and whatever remained buried. But there were never any witnesses to these horrendous events. It wasn't until archaeologists recently uncovered scorched human remains using metal detectors, along with German handgun shells, that the truth of these horrendous crimes came to light. Many of the bones have since been reburied at the nearby cemetery of the victims of Nazi crimes. Number 8. The Enigma Machine at the bottom of Gelting Bay in Germany, a rare Nazi Enigma machine from World War II has just been discovered. This incredibly rare artifact was used by the Nazis to prevent the Allied forces from getting a hold of their secrets. The discovery was made by a team of divers working with the World Wildlife Fund. At first, they thought they'd found an ancient typewriter. It wasn't until they got the artifact out of the water and onto dry land that they realized it was a legendary Enigma machine. Archaeologist Florian Huber told news sources that it was one of the most exciting discoveries of the past 20 years. Enigma machines are extremely rare, with only about 250 of them estimated to still be in existence. This is because when the Germans realized they were about to lose the war, they ordered every last code machine to be broken and destroyed. This one was probably tossed off the side of a warship in the last throes of the war, where it sat rusting for almost a hundred years. Number 7. The Deepest Shipwreck The USS Johnston is the deepest known shipwreck in the world. It was a U.S. Navy destroyer from World War II that sank in the Philippine Sea and came to rest over 21,000 feet below the surface. For the first time in history, the USS Johnston has finally been mapped and filmed by a group from the United States. The research vessel DSV Limiting Factor surveyed the wreck over four miles beneath the surface of the Pacific Ocean during two eight-hour segments spaced over two days. Now, the twisted metal of this legendary ship has finally been filmed in almost complete darkness, inhabited now by nothing but fish. The USS Johnson was sunk by the Japanese in October of 1944 during the Battle of Samar. It was one of the largest battles in the history of ocean warfare and the ultimate demise of the Japanese Navy. The Johnston put up an amazing fight but was surrounded in the end by Japanese ships and sunk. 186 crew members died, including the captain. And now for number 6, but first be sure to subscribe to American Eye for more videos like these. And let me know if you have any family stories from World War II in the comments below. Number 6. Ammunition an ammunition box from 77 years ago was recently found in Utah. Amazingly, the ammunition box contained some pretty strong words for a man named Adolf Hitler. The box was found by the Toole Army Depot, apparently lost somewhere in their facility. They were destroying old and unusable rounds from World War II when they came upon the artifact. Underneath the 50 caliber bullets, there was a message written that said, May the contents of this box blow the blank out of Hitler. Nobody knows who wrote the letter, but keep in mind this was a time when the world was at war with the forces of evil. The ammo box was originally produced in the Ogden Arsenal back in 1944, but had never been used and wound up just sitting in storage. It's now going to be put on display for everyone to see. Number 5. Bombs Away An unexploded bomb from World War II recently caused a panic and an evacuation in Germany. The bomb was found thanks to aerial photographs taken over the town of Schweintenental. Thousands of people needed to flee their homes, offices, and the streets because of the 551-pound bomb made by the U.S. just sitting in the middle of nowhere. 
This was the second time in just two weeks that a World War II bomb was found in the area. But it's not a huge surprise. The Allied forces dropped thousands of bombs across Germany in the 1940s. Not all of them exploded. Some, like this enormous bomb, became lodged in the earth and forgotten. Luckily, bomb experts were able to defuse the situation literally. They defused the explosive and everyone was allowed to go back to work for now. Number 4. Beneath the Glacier A P-38 Lightning fighter aircraft that went missing 70 years ago has just been found buried underneath a glacier in Greenland. It crashed into the ice during World War II and was covered over by snow and ice. This was honestly the worst place the plane could have crashed. It's an area riddled with hidden ice pits, sudden brutal storms, and roaming polar bears with a taste for flesh. It's one of the most remote and inhospitable places in the world. The only reason the P-38 was found at all is that a California businessman with a hankering for finding lost war relics used a ground-penetrating radar to detect the aircraft hidden under 300 feet of ice. Otherwise, nobody would have ever known it was there. But how did the plane crash here in the first place? It was part of the Lost Squadron, a group of six P-38 fighters and two B-17 bombers flying to England from the U.S. in July of 1942. They ran into a blizzard and all eight aircrafts crashed into the surface of Greenland. Luckily, the pilots were rescued, but their planes stayed there, waiting to be dug up almost a century later. Even after this P-38 is rescued, there are still the remaining aircrafts from the Lost Squadron to be excavated from their icy graves. Number 3. Weapons Cache A couple was remodeling their home in France back in 2017 when they discovered an unexpected treasure hiding inside their walls. It was a cache of weapons from World War II. More specifically, it was a cache of weapons probably used by the French resistance during the war after Hitler had already captured France. The homeowners at the time must have been part of the resistance and they must have stashed the weapons away for a later time when the French would rise up against the German oppressors. Inside this amazing collection of weapons, the couple discovered three Sten submachine guns, roughly a dozen grenades, three small pistols, and at least a thousand rounds of live ammunition. Even more amazing is that all these weapons were in phenomenal condition. They probably would have still worked if the couple had loaded them with ammo and went down to the firing range. But instead of doing that, the couple simply donated the ancient weapons to their local museum, who will demilitarize them and put them on display. The curator of the museum was even able to trace the weapons back to the original members of the resistance, but all names are being kept secret to protect the identities of the homeowners. Number 2. Hidden Warsaw Bunker A secret bunker from World War II has been discovered beneath a ghetto in the capital of Poland. The bunker was found during demolition work at a building site in Warsaw, revealing a structure which had been hidden since the days of World War II. The Warsaw Ghetto was currently being demolished by authorities to make room for more residential buildings. Nobody had expected there to be a bunker hiding underneath them. Inside the bunker, experts found 10 pairs of Teflon, suggesting the bunker had been used by Polish Jews to hide from the invading Nazis. Teflon is a set of black leather boxes with scrolls of parchment, each parchment inscribed with verses from the Torah. They're worn by adult Jews. These artifacts have since been sent to Israel, where they'll be inspected and preserved by the proper authorities. This just goes to show how desperate Poles were when Germany advanced on Warsaw, followed by the Russians later, burning everything in sight. Number 1. Secret Nazi Tunnels Deep in the mountains of Bavaria, there's a doorway in the side of a mountain. The thick steel door is not marked by any tourist map. The government would rather that you never visited this site. And that's all because behind the steel door is a secret underground bunker complex filled with Nazi tunnels that date back to World War II. This subterranean compound was used by members of the inner circle of Nazi Germany. There are at least four miles of tunnels, dozens of bunkers and hidden rooms, and an entire village above ground that was originally constructed to be a relaxing alpine vacation retreat for members of the Nazi government. Unfortunately for them, the strange underground complex was carpet bombed in April of 1945 by the Royal Air Force. Then the U.S. Army locked the doors before giving it back to the Germans in 1952, under the strict rule that it was not to be used again. Today, the ruins are still there, though Germany really doesn't like to talk about them. Number 10. Jeepers Creepers Monster in Texas, a terrifying monster that looks a lot like the villain from the Jeepers Creepers franchise was witnessed falling out of the sky. According to the eyewitnesses themselves, it happened near Las Milpas, where they were driving down the road one day. From out of nowhere, a man appeared in the sky with huge bat-like wings just like the creepy monster from the Jeepers Creepers movies. He even had on a cowboy hat. The creature fell, pumped its wings to try and slow its descent, and then quickly vanished into the forest. It's important to note that there's no video evidence of this happening, but it's not the first time somebody's witnessed this very same beast in rural Texas. Nobody knows where this thing lives or what it does, or even if people have just been watching too many horror movies and mistook a huge bird for a monster, though most people can tell the difference. Still, those who have seen this freaky creature, a thing the size of a man with crazy wings like a giant bat, swear it's real. Number 9. 
Sneaking Goblin. In Argentina, youngsters near the city of Santiago del Estero witnessed what can only be described as a very real and very creepy goblin. The kids were playing in a makeshift pitch, kicking around a football when a small, unidentifiable creature suddenly appeared behind them. Luckily for us, there was an eyewitness filming the children as they played their game of football, and they were able to capture the mysterious creature on camera. From what we can see in the footage, the strange hunched-over monster ambles forward rather quickly, causing the children to scream in terror and run away, and then the goblin itself simply scampered off and was not seen again. Maybe the children's screams scared it. One of the mothers in the neighborhood described the goblin as a paranormal phenomenon, while other parents refused to let their children go back to the pitch and feared that the goblin would get them. We don't know if this really was a goblin in the traditional sense, meaning a cruel and mischievous creature that likes to steal gold and jewels, but we do know that it was some kind of animal, small and green and with pointy ears. Number 8. The Washington Sasquatch Do you believe in Bigfoot? The Washington State Department of Transportation is convinced the Sasquatch is real. The department recently revealed photos of what they say could be the Sasquatch passing through Sherman Pass. The sighting was made thanks to a traffic camera pointed at State Route 20. The camera also has a pretty clear vantage of some nearby trees. It managed to capture a photograph of the alleged Sasquatch just as it walked in front of a snowy tree. The problem is that the brown fur of the supposed Sasquatch made it blend in perfectly with the tree, making it kind of hard to distinguish. It definitely looks like an upright humanoid being in the photo. You can see it seems to have one leg in front of the other as it's walking. But because of its position in front of the tree and the blurriness of the picture, it's hard to be certain. Still, this could be a legit photo of Bigfoot. He's been known to loiter in the area and there have been dozens of sightings of him here before. This just so happens to be the first potential evidence caught on camera. It's only too bad the department didn't have a video and only produced this blurry photograph. Number 7. Skinwalker In New Mexico, something horrifying was caught lurking on the side of an old road. Somebody posted a photograph that was allegedly taken near Lybrook, showing what seems to be a skinwalker, a type of mythical creature from a Native American legend. The skinwalker is a person who possesses the supernatural ability to turn into any creature, walking in any animal's skin. There are countless stories of these eerie encounters with a skinwalker, dating back to the days of the first Native Americans and counting into the earliest days of European settlers. According to the story behind the picture, it may have been taken by a geologist working nearby in an oil field who spotted the strange creature, captured a photo of it, and then mysteriously quit their job and vanished the very next day. The story's never been verified and the picture's never been authenticated, but it was still enough to freak out all the people living in the area. If a skinwalker does have the ability to change into any animal, does that mean that every creature sighting we've talked about today could potentially be a skinwalker? What do you think of this? Let us know in the comments below and if you're liking this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up and subscribe buttons if you haven't already. Number 6. Drifting Spectre A ghost hunter recently captured blood-chilling footage of a supernatural being while inspecting a haunted mansion built in the 17th century. The ghost hunter's name is Mark Vernon, and he claims that he can not only see spirits, but he can speak to them too. The picture was taken after he arrived at East Riddleson Hall in West Yorkshire, England. And to be quite honest, there doesn't appear to be anything fake about the drifting specter moving through the spooky halls of the property. He captured several photographs of what really looks like a floating fog in different rooms of the large estate. It was as if the ghost was following him around the property. Oddly enough, there is actually a known ghost that haunts the mansion. She's known as the Grey Lady, and she has apparently been in the house ever since her husband returned from war to find her cheating on him with another man. In anger, the husband killed the woman by trapping her in a room and letting her die of starvation. To this day, her ghost still roams the corridors, searching for her lost lover. Even Helen Clark from the National Trust admitted that her and other employees often hear of unexplainable sightings of ghosts and of visitors experiencing the presence of something otherworldly while visiting the historical mansion. Number 5. The Beast of Bladenboro The story of the Beast of Bladenboro begins in Bladen County in the small town of Clarkton, North Carolina. It was December of 1953 when a local woman heard her neighbor's dogs barking relentlessly. When she went outside to see what the fuss was about, she witnessed a massive creature that looked like a huge cat but definitely wasn't any kind of mountain lion or bobcat. This was the very first sighting of the Beast of Bladenboro. Two days later, Bladenboro Police Chief Roy Forres was called out to a local farm where the farmer's dogs had been killed by a large and mysterious animal. The dogs had been drained of their blood and were bone dry like bags of dirt. Throughout the next two weeks, more reports began coming in of a large creature dragging away people's pets into the forest. There were dozens of reports of dogs being attacked all across the county. 
With each attack came an eyewitness account of a beast like a bear or a panther. Local residents were also reporting terrifying screams coming from the swamps at night. Of course, nobody had any idea what kind of beast this was. After all, there are no animals in nature known to literally drain the blood of their victims. The beast was said to live in the dark swamps near the Cape Fear River. The entire town was beyond terrified. The story of the beast was picked up by several newspapers, and soon Bladenboro was flooded with a flurry of hunters coming in, eager to catch the monster. More than 600 men from as far away as Tennessee traveled to the town. A fully armed bunch of fraternity brothers from UNC Chapel Hill even made its way down to Clarkton with hopes of putting the creature's head on their wall. But after two weeks, things calmed down, and no one ever saw the beast again. To this day, nobody knows what terrorized Bladen County in 1953. Number 4. The Canadian Mermaid In 1967, the only mass sighting of a mermaid happened in Canada. These days, nobody would ever believe that a mermaid was witnessed by a ferry filled with passengers, but just a few decades ago, it did really happen. The event occurred while the ferry was moving through Maine Island, British Columbia. The island's located just a stone's throw away from the Washington border. Several witnesses reported the mermaid sitting on a rock, being splashed by the constant waves, and casually taking a bite out of a raw salmon. The mermaid had silvery blonde hair, she was topless, and everyone on the ferry agreed as to what they saw. A photograph was even taken of the creature by George Harrison from Iowa, who had been on board the vessel. Plus, a local resident was flying over the area later on the same day and took an aerial photograph in which the mermaid lady can still be seen sitting on the rock, just kind of lounging as if she didn't have a care in the world. The local newspaper, The Colonist, got excited and ran the story the very next day. That's how many people saw this thing. It was, like I already said, a true mass sighting. The newspaper even offered a huge reward of $25,000 to anyone who could capture the mermaid. Of course, nobody could. Marine biologists argued that mermaids didn't even exist. Then, after a few weeks, all the fuss died down. To date, no other mermaid has ever been seen in the area. If you saw a mermaid, would you ever give up trying to prove its existence? Number 3. The Slender Man Depending on who you ask, the Slender Man is a very real creature that stalks the shadows. He's a very tall mythical being who wears a black suit and has no face. He can also stretch his arms like retractable tentacles. However, the truth behind Slender Man is that he was born in June of 2009 during a competition in which a web forum asked for ideas to create a modern myth to terrify everyone. An unknown person responded to the forum with two photoshopped pictures, each one from the 1980s, showing a tall and sinister figure lurking behind groups of kids. Some vague text was attached to the photograph, suggesting that 14 of the young people had gone missing after the photo was taken. This is where Slender Man comes from, according to the in-depth report from the BBC. It was all really just supposed to be a scary meme, and yet the Slender Man has taken on a life of his own. It's not that the Slender Man has been witnessed so much as kids have obsessed over the mysterious figure. In 2018, 15-year-old Morgan Geyser was sentenced to spend 40 years in mental health treatment and monitoring after she plotted to kill her 6th grade classmate because she was scared that the Slender Man would come after her and kill her and her family if she didn't do as she was told. She stabbed the young girl 19 times, though her victim miraculously survived after being discovered by a passing cyclist. Still, the Slender Man has made an overwhelming impact on today's pop culture. Number 2. The Lair of the Loch Ness Monster A fisherman has discovered what could be the lair of the Loch Ness Monster. According to the Daily Mail, Keith Stewart discovered a crevice at the very bottom of Loch Ness that goes down about 900 feet 274 meters. He discovered the mysterious trench using specialized sonar equipment. Considering how truly massive the fissure is at the bottom of the lock, it is possible that a beast of biblical size could indeed be living down there and avoiding all detection. The trench has since been dubbed Keith's Abyss. To really bolster the theory of the Loch Ness monster living down there, one of Keith's colleagues took a sonar image of the trench, revealing what appeared to be a hump lying at its bottom. But during a trip, just shortly after when he scanned the same area, that hump was curiously gone. The consensus is that something huge is moving around at the bottom of the trench, making it very hard to track. Number 1. The Mothman In Point Pleasant, West Virginia, a man has taken a photo of what locals fear could be the legendary Mothman. The creature has plagued this quiet town for decades, starting back in the 1960s and the weeks leading up to the devastating Silver Bridge collapse. The Mothman is a bad omen, and he only ever appears before complete catastrophe. The creature is human-like with large wings and blazing red eyes. If the Mothman is back, it's bad news for everyone in Point Pleasant. The creature hasn't been witnessed in nearly 50 years, and yet a snapshot has just surfaced of what appears to be a winged man flying between the trees alongside State Route 2, taken by an individual who refused to be identified or interviewed on camera. 
However, this person was adamant that he had not changed the images in any way and that he had happened across the Mothman by accident while driving. He stopped to take a picture and then the Mothman was gone. Number 10. Hidden Villages Even in 2021, there are still villages hidden deep in the Amazon waiting to be explored. Researchers have recently found an interesting way of examining these villages without flying over them and disturbing the isolated residents. They've used satellite images to monitor isolated Amazonian tribes from a distance. Along the border of Brazil and Peru, they discovered five secluded villages hidden deep in the trees. They looked at satellite images taken in 2006, 2012, and 2013 and were shocked to find longhouses, clusters of new buildings, and slight demographic changes over time. For example, between 2012 and 2013, scientists saw that the residents of a village known only as Site H cleared 16 hectares of forest to make way for new fields, allowing for cultivation. Researchers have guessed that the reason for this rapid growth could be because of even more isolated villages being emptied and their citizens seeking out Site H, almost like how people in rural North America flee for the cities. And yet, even though these hidden villages are so deep in the jungle, the last scientists checked Loggers and farmers from the outside world were only a handful of miles away and slowly pushing into the jungle. It now seems that a meeting between the outside world and the hidden villages of the Amazon is imminent. Number 9. Secret Underground River As if the Amazon wasn't mysterious enough, researchers have found a mighty underground river situated miles beneath the surface of the jungle. They detected the river by analyzing data from over 240 wells that were drilled throughout the Amazon region in the 70s and 80s. The find was made by scientists with Brazil's National Observatory, who named the underground river Hamza. Thermal signatures suggest that the river flows from west to east just like the Amazon River does. The big difference is that Hamza is about 13,000 feet beneath the surface of the Earth, and that at about 2,000 feet, the water actually flows vertically like a waterfall. There's less water flowing through the Hamza, only about 1 million gallons per second, 3,900 cubic meters. That's a drop in the bucket compared to what the Amazon River outputs, a whopping 33 million gallons per second. The water underground also moves more slowly. It only flows at a speed of between 33 to 330 feet, whereas the Amazon River moves at a speed of about 20 and 390 feet, 6 to 119 kilometers per hour. The one thing both rivers have in common is that each is roughly 3,700 miles, 5,955 kilometers long. Even more shocking is that scientists believe there are other underwater rivers just like this one all across the Earth. There could be primeval river systems trapped underground that scientists haven't even found yet. Number 8. Giant Skeletons In the Amazon, there have been giant skeletons found that measure up to 8 feet, 2.4 meters tall. Of course, you won't find very much information about these giants anywhere on the Internet. We don't know if someone is trying to stifle and silence the information, but the truth is that shockingly tall skeletons have definitely been uncovered in both Ecuador and Peru throughout the Amazon. According to a research team led by anthropologist Russell Demont, these skeletons were last seen being examined in Germany. As of right now, we're still waiting to find out if the remains prove indisputably that a race of very tall humanoids lived hundreds and even thousands of years ago deep in the rainforests of South America. Since 2013, there have been at least half a dozen human skeletons discovered with unusually large proportions. These skeletons date from between the 1400s and the mid-1500s. It's not clear what the dates have to do with the giants. It honestly seems like if giants had lived in the Amazon, they would have existed far before the 1400s and definitely for longer than a single century. Researchers found rib cages, skulls, and other bones revealed by flooding in Ecuador. When they put the pieces together, the first skeleton they discovered was of a woman who stood 7 feet and 4 inches tall, 2.2 meters tall. There are some speculations that more bones are still hidden underneath the soil. It could be that the giants buried their dead very deep in the ground, some place where human archaeologists may not find them for hundreds of more years. It's also important to note that none of the large skeletons showed any signs of disease or hormonal growth problems often associated with gigantism. In other words, these were natural giants. What do you think happened to the Amazon Giants? Let me know in the comments below and while you're at it, be sure to like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. Number 7. River Monsters In one of the darkest corners of the Amazon jungle, there allegedly lurks a dinosaur. Local legends speak of a horrifying fish inhabited by an evil spirit. This fish is taller than a human at about 10 feet 3 meters. 
Its body is covered in bright scales and it can crush its prey with a tongue made from pure bone. This legendary monster is more real than you might think. It's a living, breathing river monster that swims through the waterways of the Amazon. Its name is Arapaima, and no, it's not really possessed by an evil spirit. The Arapaima is a deadly fish known to ram into unsuspecting swimmers with the same force of a car crash. When famous angler Jeremy Wade went into the Amazon in search of an Arapaima for his show River Monsters on the Discovery Channel, he ended up being hit in the chest with the Arapaima's tail so hard that it nearly stopped his heart. And this is just one of the deadly river creatures hiding in what remains of the Amazon to this day. There are all kinds of horrifying beasts that call this place home, such as the green anaconda, the black caiman, and the voracious red-bellied piranha. Number 6. El Dorado Explorers have been trying to find the lost city of El Dorado for hundreds of years. The legend has drawn legions of adventurers deep into the treacherous terrain of the Amazon, where they almost always perish. In 2021, people generally dismiss El Dorado as nothing but a legend. And yet, everyone from the Spanish conquistadors to brave British explorers have gone in search of the mysterious city, which is said to be hidden somewhere in a part of the forest that has never been seen by outsiders. El Dorado, also known as the City of Z, is said to be an ancient empire rich with treasure. It was the capital of an ancient civilization even more superior than the Aztecs or the Inca. Now, satellite imagery has revealed over 200 geometric earthworks carved into the Amazon jungle that suggest a once prosperous civilization really did live in the region. These earthworks were found in the upper Amazon basin, near where Bolivia meets Brazil. There are circles, squares, networks of avenues, ditches, and what could be the leftover bones of ancient settlements. Scientists say these remnants could date back to 200 AD. Even more shocking is that according to The Guardian, scientists say there could be over 2,000 additional structures hidden beneath the canopy of the jungle, unseeable by satellite. These hidden structures could be the remains of El Dorado, if not the city itself, then at least the remnants of the society that built the great city. No matter which way you look at it, the structures found in the Amazon point to a sophisticated society that built monuments and huge fortifications and houses. Estimates right now place the population of this huge society at upwards of 60,000, far greater than what would have been seen in most medieval European cities. Number 5. Mysterious Diseases There are mysterious infectious diseases hidden in the Amazon rainforest, exactly what diseases nobody can say for certain. What we do know is that infectious disease specialists from the University of California San Diego School of Medicine went investigating in the Peruvian Amazon. What they discovered was a heap of bacteria responsible for a number of bizarre local diseases, such as leptospirosis, something that can cause jaundice, lung hemorrhages, and death. During the investigation, researchers discovered new species of pathogen that spread from animals to humans. The reason this is so alarming is that as humans move deeper and deeper into the Amazon to cut down trees and build plantations, they're coming into contact with more and more exotic animals, and thus more hidden diseases. There are no deadly diseases we need to worry about now coming out of the Amazon, but that doesn't mean there won't be in the future. With so many hidden plants, animals, and pathogens, nobody can say for certain what will happen as humans continue moving deeper into the jungle. Number 4. A Mysterious Pyramid We already know that there was a civilization living in the Amazon around the time of the Aztec and the Inca, and that was only a few hundred years ago. To truly understand what's hidden in the Amazon, we need to look back even further. Archaeologist Carino Oliveira is doing just that. He and his team went into the Amazon and began digging on a hill in the middle of the rainforest that covers about two acres of land. This hill is known as Monte Grande, and it doesn't look like anything other than a mound of dirt. But it was farmers living in the area that began discovering pieces of old pots and ancient utensils scattered throughout the region. It turned out some of these relics were about a thousand years old. This is what prompted Mr. Oliveira and his team to do a real archaeological dig of Monte Grande. What they discovered was a massive pyramid built over 3,000 years ago by a forgotten civilization and then buried, grown over, and lost to history. This is a legit pyramid and it changes everything. It proves that humans have lived in the jungles of South America for at least 3,000 years and probably longer. Not only that, but they built superstructures. Forget isolated tribes in the city of El Dorado, the pyramid at Monte Grande is proof of an ancient civilization building pyramids around the same time as the Egyptians. Unfortunately, we have no idea what happened to these ancient people or why they abandoned the jungle. What do you think happened? Number 3. The Legendary Sloth Monster There have been rumors of a giant beast lurking in the brush of the Amazon. Some say the animal looks like an ape, 
Some say it looks like a giant bear. It moves quite slowly but stands over 8 feet 2.4 meters tall on its hind legs. The monster also has reddish fur and curled claws that could slash a person into pieces. Perhaps the strangest thing about the monster is that it has a gaping mouth on its stomach. What does it use this mouth for? Allegedly, it uses the stomach mouth to suck up any creature that gets in its way. The local Amazonians know this beast as Mapinguari. In the local languages, Mapinguari translates roughly to fetid beast. Could it really exist? The answer is maybe, and there could actually be more than one. The Mapinguari could just be a lingering group of giant ground sloth, an ancient species of sloth that grew to be the size of an elephant. Scientists have found fossils in the Amazon jungle of the giant ground sloths that date back 11,000 years. It definitely existed, it definitely lived in the region, and it wasn't even that long ago. Considering how huge and vast and unexplored the jungle is, the possibility remains of a small collection of giant ground sloths still wandering around. Nobody's ever captured one, gotten a picture of one, or discovered tangible evidence. But the Mapinguari could very well be a not-so-extinct giant sloth hidden in the darkness of the jungle canopy. Number 2. Ancient Artwork One thing nobody expects to find in the Amazon is ancient artwork. And yet more than 2.5 miles, 4 kilometers of cliff paintings have been found hidden in the trees of the jungle. Thousands of drawings have been found in the Colombian part of the Amazon covering the walls of rock shelters. The artwork has been dated back almost 12,000 years. What does the artwork depict? It shows a society of hunter-gatherers living at the end of the last ice age, hunting mastodons and other incredible extinct animals like large wild horses. But these cave drawings weren't made by an advanced race of humans. This was still 12,000 years ago when people were living in caves. Still, we can understand more about our ancient ancestors by looking at the clues they left behind. We know they probably hunted mastodons to extinction. We know thousands of years ago that the Amazon wasn't a tropical forest just yet. And thanks to the sheer scope of paintings found, we can actually see freeze frames of what the region looked like, along with some of the most fascinating animals that are now gone. These people lived alongside giant monkeys and snakes and porcupines that would make modern humans run for their lives. Number 1. Uncontacted Tribes As hard as it is to believe, there are still uncontacted tribes hiding in the Amazon jungle. However, these uncontacted people are at risk of going extinct from both disease and loss of habitat. Experts say loggers and cattle ranchers invading the land are bringing diseases which will inevitably wipe out the uncontacted tribes. That is, if the loggers don't get rid of them first with violence. One of the truly uncontacted tribes is known as the Kawahiva of the Rio Pardo. Almost nothing is known about them. It's been estimated that there are around 50 humans in the tribe and that they've stopped having children because they're constantly being pushed out of their territory by loggers and intruders. Because the uncontacted tribe is constantly on the move, they've been unable to cultivate and now live only by hunting and fishing. It's not clear what will happen to these people. They've still been largely sheltered from the outside world, but are living on the run like common fugitives. There's great pressure for the Brazilian government to do something about their protection, but we'll see what happens in the end. Thanks for watching. What else do you think hides in the Amazon? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit the subscribe button for more videos right here on American Eye.